I didn't mean to go over this, but I haven't had time, so I'll just go over it. Let Jacob talk. Channel that life is a big movie. This is the uh, the greatest summer blockbuster of all time. You're in it. You're the star, right? Because you're the child of God who forgot who you are, and you're putting your faith in this this world beastly system, which is never going to bring you peace, and it's just going to get it's like a nightmare, right? When you're having a nightmare, it has to get really bad before you finally wake up. So things they got to start to to twist and turn before your eyes, before you say, okay, enough already. What? Tell, teach me the truth. I want to know. I want to know what this is all about. I want you to guide me and lead me and give me some insight and give me some understanding. And I got some. I got some. And it started with Lady Gaga, of all things, right? Lady Gaga singing. She has a beautiful voice, whatever you want to say about her. She's a great actress, too. Whatever you want to say about her. She's an artist. Yeah, she's got a lot of followers, like 80-something million followers, maybe more. I don't know. But she sang that national anthem, and the first thing, of course, that I said was, oh, good grief, it's the, uh, it's the Hunger Games. So it is the Hunger Games. The mysterious case of Lady Gaga, Inauguration, Bird, and the Hunter Games. Laura Zornosa. I'm surprised it wasn't at 8.48 p.m. Lady Gaga talks with President Joe Biden during inauguration of the West Front of the U.S. Capitol. So it's like a, a ring around. Is that her hand right there holding it up? And the other hand there, the bird up the top there. And, and it, with her... Uh, well, she's good friends with Marina Abramovic, and they do that spirit cooking. And when they're at the table, they they have their they pop their head up like that. And it's also the the worm that never dies, and the internet that just doesn't usually want to stay connected. Even though I have a have an extender out here. I mean, this TV, this one works fine. But the internet, when I... My internet set up. I mean, it says it's connected, right? Connected, secure. It's secure. I mean, it's, it's good. I would just assume that... If it's not high enough connection like with the bars I can see if it's like down at one or two I mean, it looks like the, the person who designed her outfit was taking it straight from the movie. Look at this. Uh, what? Now, this is... This is going to the other side. It looks like it's something coming in upside down. Going out. It could be going in, or that can be going out, but being crucified upside down. And if you flip it up, I think it's, is that a face, a nose, two eyes? Is that smoking a pipe? The Indian smoking a pipe bowl? The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games at Marina Bromovic's party, spirit cooking, is when they bake the cake of themselves and then they cut out the heart uh, of themselves and then when you cut out the heart of yourself you create you either create it or you get rid of it the world will be watching the entire time now a lot of people put memes out and everything else but i don't think 
anybody really took the time to explain what the Hunger Games was all about. You see, there's the capital, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, a caged bird. There was a, uh, there was it's an about the caged bird. It's a rabbit. That's what the Hunger Games are about. The Hunger Games. Whew. Is that? I'll tell you. I wouldn't be surprised if how much of a one-man show Derek really is. Storm capital didn't change the election. Some Trump backers realized. Right. So what happens was there was this uh, big uprising against the beast system, if you will. I think it was called Pat Pandam is the name of the place, Pandam. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a huge Hunger Games fan, but I Pam, did do a little Pam, research. Pam. Ironically, Pan, Pam, Pam. talking a lot about Pan, right? The goat god, back from that, right? Okay, so that's their place. It's kind of like North America. Many people kind of say that that's what it is. These are uh, a bunch of people that live very gluttonous lives and really don't care too much about the people. The kind of people that'll be like, you know, here is our force, our large force, and you better not do anything or say anything. Not taking any chances. 25,000 National Guard in D.C. on eve of Inauguration Day. 25,000 National Guard in D.C. on eve of Inauguration Day. January 19th, 141. Those, the guards, they had to sleep. Actually, they got kicked out, didn't they? But they had to sleep on a, on a cold ground or something. And then Donald Trump offered them to stay at his, his, uh, his spot, his motel. I mean, hotel. Could have been a holiday in. Uh, So they had all of them. Why I gotta make this clear, but don't don't do bad things. I mean, it's like you know what I teach here is is uh, what Christ taught, which is love your enemies. Your enemies, you gotta love them. And how do we love? We forgive. We allow God to work, and God is working. God is working. I just didn't. I didn't. Didn't. I wasn't too. I was a little concerned, right? Because that's the whole thing with the Jacob's trouble and the. Uh, you know what I said? We got a couple of years. We got three and a half years. And in a second, I'm going to get back to the uh, the Jacob's trouble stuff. Yeah. It's going to make a little more sense. Thou must but, prophesy uh, again. Let's huh? first take a commercial break. Hey, you like how I did that? I'm I did. Becoming a real YouTuber and everything. If it worked, I hope it worked. It Let me know in the YouTuber. comments. Doing it for free. If it worked. By the way, comments are very important. Liking, sharing, it's very important. It helps the channel to grow. Okay, so Hunger Games, first thing you see, right? I mean, there were a lot of other memes going around, of course. Either. They said, of course, the Simpsons predicted Eliminate the outfit the that was worn by uh, our Vice President Kamala Harris. It wasn't predicted, it was just, that's what was going to happen. It's not even really her behind that mask. So crazy. This whole planet is hiding behind masks. A lot of fake news going around too about uh, about Kamala. I got a bunch of people sending me this, where they they said that she uh, she she took the vow, but it was on um, her purse. It was anyway. And it was a picture, and from the angle, it looked like a purse. But all you got to do is look for another literally. angle. Figuratively. Right? You got to be careful, you see. Um, people will, there's so much fake news. It's the flood of lies that is put out in the world. And you got to be careful. You got to, you got to, you can't just go run with things. It's like, kind of like that's, that's that knee jerk reaction. That's fear, right? You know, fight or flight. That's the brain stem. It's the lowest form of thinking. That's why it's called the reptilian brain. It's the snake hanging from the tree in you. Right? Which is the temple of God. So you don't want to be listening to that, that dirty reptile. I wonder who he's talking about. You don't want to be, uh, you want to take a second, you take a deep breath and say, okay, what does this really mean? And then look into it. Turned out it was just a Bible that had a zipper. That's it. So we get back to, uh, we get back to her singing. And you have this gigantic, you know, this, this uh, huge, this incredibly gaudy, uh, it was a dove. 
which is very symbolic. Birds, so you know, in scripture, very symbolic. A dove, super symbolic. You know, Jonah actually means dove. He's a messenger, a prophet. That's the reason why Jonah, Jonah means dove. Uh, a dove descended on Christ. Uh, he, a messenger of God's truth, right? A messenger that descends. It's, a, it's, it's very symbolic. And of course, we're talking about seed-eating and berry and fruit-eating birds, not those like ravens and the ones that eat the flesh and the meat and all that. Many birds have very symbolic meanings, like the robin red breast, right? Very symbolic of being the breast being covered with the blood of Christ, some say. Others say it's, it's a picture of, of Mary. We're going to get into the robin in a second. And I'm talking about birds for a reason, not just because I think birds are cool. And poor if you robin. remember correctly, uh, poor robin. only if he knew. Happened, right? Only if he knew. The virus of the crown, when everybody was stressing out, all of a sudden nests started appearing everywhere around my house. I think I had something like 12 nests at some point. At one point, at one point, I had a couple of them up there until I got scared about them. Bird, bird mites, and I, I got rid of them, and then someone threw them out. Very disturbing. But this spring, I'm sure there's going to be more nests, and I'm going to get a nest on set. My point being, right, the, the okay, birds, so I they're, checked out they're some messengers. books from my local library, and one of them that I checked out was Backwoods Witchcraft, Conjure, and Folk Magic from Appalachia. Considering I live in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, that's why I got it. And I just wanted to show you, at the very beginning, what I found about birds, and the robin, and specifically. For the old folks, the Bible also seems to have become a template for spells. Many spells still done today are fabricated and symbolic of biblical stories, especially in regard to the use of some animals. One such animal is the robin. It's believed that robin's breast is red because he was stained with Christ's blood after pulling out the bigger thorn from his, the biggest thorn from his brow. Due to this folk story, robin eggs are cooked up to cure illness and get rid of curses. Their feathers are luck bringers, and the sticks of their nests are said to keep the devil away. This could also be connected to Deuteronomy 22, 6, verse 6 through 7. If a bird's nest chance to be before thee in the way in any tree or on the ground, whether they become young ones or whether they be young ones or eggs, and the dam sitting upon the young or upon the eggs, thou shalt not take the dam with the young, but thou shalt in any wise let the dam go and take the young to thee. But it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days. And Robin from Robin's Hood was just talking about Jacob Israel. And he showed it where he was talking about all the robin's birds and robin's nests he had, the 12 robin's nests he had in his, his yard, which didn't make any sense really anyway. Were they even really so now, talking about birds? It's like, appearing everywhere around my house. I was really I talking to Robin. Something like but I wonder if Jacob Israel knows point, he's at one point at one talking to Robin or if he's just reading the script or if it's a spirit that moves through people. To Robin or if he's just reading the script um, and his, his yard, which didn't Jacob Israel, and he showed it where he was talking about all the robins, birds, and robins' nests he had, the 12 robins' nests he had in his, his yard, which didn't make any sense really anyway. Were they even really talking about the birds? It's like he was really talking to Robin. But I wonder if Jacob Israel knows that he's talking to Robin or if he's just reading the script or if it's the spirit that moves. Now he knows what he's people, doing. He knows what, what he's YouTube. reading for sure. I don't know, but it was funny because the same day that he did that video that Robin said did the video with Jacob Israel talking about Robin's birds and Robin's nests. I read this part of the book and I stopped and I marked it so I could come back and make a video of it. So apparently Robins were held in some kind of regard in the Bible, especially because they were stained with Christ's blood after they pulled out the biggest thorn from his brow. So, there you go. Thank you for the information. I appreciate that. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. The only God who is at the Father's side. Now, this is where the Catholic Church has said Jesus is God. Where they've deified the physical man when Christ itself, the Word, the vibration that creates all life is the vibration in you, which is why you are already 
in Christ, you just don't know it. You have to die to yourself to recognize its presence, that there is no such thing as you being here without it. That the Christ, who is the only God, who is at the Father's side, who has made him known. So in other words, he spoke it, he spoke the life into all things, and this life is in you. This isn't a physical anything. There isn't anything physical about this yet. Okay. So this is... I understand. I'm yeah, following you. This is a really interesting thing where... So are you saying that this, the Father and the Spirit of Christ are, are together? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that when he spoke, the right. word he spoke became Was... life and became God. That the right. word that the word that is in you that makes you alive is God. That God is in you. It's impossible for you to be here without it. So just like I've also said that everything that God makes, everything that the Father sends, the enemy corrupts. This is why you have Satan who takes that source, manipulates that that sound, mm -hmm. exalts himself on high, places himself on the throne, and he says, "Hey, I'm God." and then acts out, acting as though he's God, just like many of us do, thinking that we control other people and control other things, thinking that we're gods too. So we manifest in this as a result of this. So this kind of teaches us. So um, now we can continue with this. We can go on with John 1 for a very, very long time, but I think this is a lot for people to already digest in that right there. Absolutely. And I wanted to point one more thing out while you're still on that, the one and only, where it says, and then in this version it says. At one point I had a couple of them up there until I got scared about bird, bird mites, and I, I got rid of them. And then someone threw them out. Very disturbing. But this spring, I'm sure there's going to be more nests, and I'm going to get a nest on set. My point being, right, the, the, the birds, they're the messengers. Noah, when the flood came, he sent that dove out into the world to see, you know, to see where it would land. That was the whole point. It's like, you know, the, he wanted to see if the water's a base. So first he sent out the raven, then he sent out the dove, and Lady Gaga's wearing that dove. Now, what's interesting about that is when the dove came back with the, uh, the olive branch, the olive leaf, it depends on whether or not you believe in Mandela effects, who knows, right? But it was a symbol that, that dry land had appeared after that the floodwaters had a base. Now, what's weird about this is that when this virus of the crown literally took off, I had done like a video too about the flood, right? This one. Seven months ago. That's seven months ago. And it's like a yearly thing. Then there's five months from that point on. Must have been in May ish, June, something. And ironically, you know, because I, what I had said was, I was, it was kind of like I was inspired to share with all of you that the world outside, get into the ark. I'd been telling people on the channel for a while, get into the ark, get ready, buckle up, things are good, right? I've been saying, don't, but don't worry, because if you seek God and you seek the kingdom of God and you love and you forgive and you, you walk upright, right? And you follow the rules. As long as the rules don't hurt other people, because this is this is what God has ordained for us to go through this. You think God's not in charge? God's in charge. It's going to make a quick work of things. So this scary time that everybody thinks they're in right now, it's, it's going to be over with, and then something new is going to be birthed out of it. In my video about Nebuchadnezzar, I talk about the stone. That is the kingdom of God that is now being birthed in the world today. But the problem is you gotta you gotta shut down those messengers of God if you're part of the beast system, right? You gotta get you gotta you gotta, you gotta cage those birds. Can't let those birds sing, even though I'm singing, baby. La, 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 la. Welcome back. So clearly, the Hunger Games starts after there's an uprising. So of course, everybody's gonna look like they're in the Hunger Games or Handmaid's Tale. Some people say that.
way everybody dressed. Everybody dressed in purple too. So a lot of people saying, oh, it's, it's this and it's that. And it's a lot of spooky things. This is all spiritual stuff, by the way. The, the woman is a spirit and it's on the many waters. It's not just about one literal person, but yes, there may be literal people that'll stand up that will play this role. That will be uh, you know, messed up people that'll do some pretty horrible things. So that you wake up. For those people that are lost and trapped in the world, you need worldly nonsense to wake you up, right? But those that are seeking the spirit of God and the kingdom of God, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay, they'll be fed, right? Just like when Israel was in the wilderness and they, they missed the flesh pots, right? I miss bowling and I miss bingo night and I miss, right? They miss the flesh pots of Egypt, they do. And they're like, how am I gonna get food? But food always arrived. Food always arrived, that's why you gotta be grateful. I shared that, by the way, on um, the community. I share poems here and there, you know? And, and while we're talking about st stuff that I share because I have essays, and go to my website too. Please, it's um, it's in, I think it's in this corner over here, jacobisrael.com. Click subscribe. You'll be notified when I post things, just in case, you know, just good to know. And also I got a lot, it's a free resource. You can you can learn till, you, you, you learn till, just you learn. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna love it. And you're gonna be more encouraged in life, especially when you feel like a caged bird. I keep talking about the cage birds. Okay, so Katniss in the Hunger Games, right? You got the, the big brooch, so you got the bird. Okay, so now here's where we get into um, that wonderful poem that everybody's, you know, up in arms, everybody's talking about. That wonderful poem everybody's talking about. I, I believe her name is um, Amanda Gorman. I thought she was like young. I, I turns out she was 22. I was more impressed when I thought she was like 12. Listen to the or something. coming up. I mean, I'm just being honest. It was a great poem. And guess what the poem I didn't you know, read it, but included? I mean, I, it's a great poem, a but... A New Dawn. I, a New Dawn. I read but it. But that's not why I'm Gonna talking about the poet. I'll get to that New Dawn part in a second. Oprah paid tribute to Maya Angelo by gifting Amanda Gorman with earrings and a caged bird. Ring, that is. Now, they are bonded for life, the two of them. There's still more to it. Which would mean... male to female. If she also has a twin sister, then she would be like Lady Gaga. I want to talk about the ring that she was wearing because that's making news. Now, why is this interesting? Oprah had given her this ring. That's huge. Oprah's big, right? Everybody knows who Oprah is. She gave her this, this jewelry to wear. In the tweet, when she said how proud she was of her, and I, everybody should be because that's, that's a lot of pressure, even for a 22-year-old, and a beautiful poem, and, uh, and encouraging and inspiring, I guess. I don't know. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I'll be honest. <laughs> just, just because, you know, I write poetry, and I love my... I like stuff that rhymes and sounds like Dr. Seuss. I'm very simple. I'm a very simple man. Complex things, that's too much for me. I like to, God likes, God likes to use simple people. Ouch. <laughs> because it gets too Broke complex with all the big words and all the, uh, the this and the that. Ow. I said, so I'm proud of you. And she said, thank you. And I noticed that uh, she'd been given a ring by Oprah. And it was a, a, a caged bird. It's weird, right? You got birds everywhere caged bird. So I'm like, that's gotta be, there's gotta be more. I don't know what it is at the time. So I start kind of looking into it and uh, trying to understand because obviously I see the symbolism of a messenger. And I think that's great because that brooch, that brooch, pay attention to this, that was on her, uh, her, her, you know, her, her, uh, her chest or her heart, whatever you want to call it. That appeared on the scene almost 251 days from 
you know, uh, when I did the video about the ark and the flood and everything else, and that the dry land was gonna appear, because in that video I explained to everybody that like, you know, the flood water stopped, but it took a while for the waters to recede, and they couldn't get out of that ark. They didn't get out of that ark for like almost a year, right? Because the world was, and it was a new world that they were entering into. Yeah, hello, right? We're in a new world. Dove carrying an olive branch. May 21st. 10 years. We all make peace with each other. In May. Purging and both strange because. Yeah, there's this, there's the belief that the enemy does things in the natural to copy and mimic the things that are going on in the spiritual. But I see it as, oh, okay, the dove with the olive branch, peace, uh, dry land has appeared. The kingdom of God is at hand. It was made in gold, which gold's not that great, you know, but it is symbolic of divinity. And I'm, of course, not saying that Lady Gaga is this wonderful divine person. I'm not saying that at all. Please hear what I'm saying. I'm saying that the dove showed up about the same amount of time from when Noah had the dove show up. That same amount of time, so strange, right? That the world sees this at that moment, almost exactly, it was like 251 days, just so wonderful. And then you get the caged bird and you think, that's strange, why? Because of course I'm aware that birds are messengers of God and, I, and I've been doing videos about where I say, oh, the hunt is on, you know, the hunt is on and I worry, you know, are they gonna come after this? Are they gonna come after that? And guess what? That's what they're already doing. But I mean, I don't know how they're doing it. Hopefully it's really, they're going after really bad people and they're not just using this as a, as a, 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 a chance to, you know, just. What nah, 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 is not good. Nah. A, a chance. Now, Mark to, Zuckerberg you know, is not a real figure. It's like you can almost see his eyeballs behind there. But I was told that I'm a creature. I have to see if I can find where I left the video at. But Robin, Robin, um. Robin's hood is a creature because he has he has a triangle no, triangle nose nostrils. It's funny because when I was born, I have a, my nose is like this, face is all red, like I can't breathe, and my wife calls me the flared nostril baby. This isn't really a real human being at all. do what is not good you know, because when the uh the messengers of god speak you know they, they want to cage them is that what they want to do you know is that what they want to do to show the show force and then not care about the people and say oh go in the basement go in the basement right here we feel incredibly betrayed Thousands of guardsmen forced to vacate capital. It's messed up. Guardsmen were later lent back into facility after an outery from lawmakers. Donald Trump invites National Guardsmen to stay at his D.C. hotel after they were forced to sleep in garage. Now at least 5,000 National Guard troops deployed at the Capitol to protect Joe Biden's inauguration were forced to rest in a garage. Thank you for your uh, for the photo ops. Go in the basement now, in the garage. Sorry if there's only like one bathroom. This is... 
mean, it's so clear to see that things aren't the way they're supposed to be in the world and that things need to change. And like I said before, they're going to change. But that system's going to cramp down and try everything it can to keep, uh, keep the uh, truth at bay because that sets you free. You got the cage birds, and it's interesting. On the uh, on her uh, ring finger, which is the signet ring, is very very symbolic. This is where it gets really weird, though. Do you know what Joseph Biden's middle name is? And I'm not saying this. To, I don't gotta say anything. Everything's gonna be said. I don't need to say anything about anything. I'm gonna pray that the Lord is going to use this man to do exactly what the Lord wants to be done in the world so ultimately his kingdom is known. You gotta pray that righteousness and peace and joy, regardless of what you think, regardless of how crazy it all seems, you gotta pray, Lord, make it work because we're supposed to even pray for our enemies. And I'm not saying he's right. Some people think that that's the case. The only enemy you Lord, really have is, make is it within work. you already. That's the Father in heaven. Right. The one that's getting you to hate. The one that's getting you to the, the knee-jerk reaction, getting you scared. So, I'm looking at everything in scripture about you know, birds and cages, which by the way, let me just read you, okay? Because it's, uh, it's about a wicked day that comes upon a people that are unaware. This is in, I, I believe this is in Jeremiah 5, okay? Among my people are wicked, who lie in wait like men who snare birds. Wicked people that are in wait looking to catch that bird. Stop that messenger of truth. Stop that love. Stop that unity. Stop that peace. Stop that prosperity. And like those who set traps to catch people. Birdcage. Wicked setting traps for people. It's just strange. Like cages full of birds, their houses are full of deceit. They've become rich and powerful and they've grown fat and sleek. Their evil deeds, they have no limit. They do not seek justice. They do not promote the case of the fatherless. They do not defend the just cause of the poor. Should I not punish them for this, the Lord says? I think he's, I think that's what's happening, just so you know. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? A horrible and shocking thing has happened in this land. The land that you say is under me? That's not in there, I added that part. The prophets, the people that you put your faith in, they prop- You know, under, under, like the foot. Beside lies, the priests, they rule by their own authority. And my people, they love it this way. I see how many people are coming out there saying, the prophecy was true. He did win. It was stolen. Yeah. A lot of people. And people are like, okay. I mean, maybe, you know, but he's not the president right now. Joe Biden is the president. I'm not saying that's the way it's always going to stand. Because if you watch my Nebuchadnezzar video, you know that the whole point of that message was to get word to humble yourself, to go to God, that maybe your kingdom will be restored again, that maybe God's rule will be back in the land again. Don't turn into a beast. That was my, uh, that was my message. Oh, good grief. Cages. People wicked, devised wickedly to snare birds. Cage birds everywhere. Interesting. Ecclesiastes 9.12 says, Moreover, no one knows when this hour comes, as fish are caught in a cruel net, or birds are taken you need to put a snare. battery in that. Wow. So, people are trapped by evil times that fall it's, it's unexpectedly upon them. And why is that? Because people have turned away from God. They've turned away from love. They've turned away from unity. They've turned away from truth or peace. They've turned away from encouragement. They've turned away from creativity and inspiration. And they're just lowest common denominator, fight or flight, reptilian brain. They're following the devil. Get some shiny because arms. The devil knows his time is short. Because this wicked spirit spreads its wind. Humanity has become its prisoner. That's a line, by the way, in my novel that I wrote years ago that's being re-released for this day. And that line was written for the day that we're in, which is interesting. That's why I think the releasing the book now is just perfect because it just turned out to be exactly what the novel was about. So strange. Birds and nets. 
from the desert to the green grass. Guess what Joseph Biden's middle name is? Robin Robinette. 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 It's just like news. What are the chances? Yeah. What are the chances what of are seeing the chances? this? And then I've never heard Robinette. of it. Robin that and then like right after it, you know, we hear this. 5.53 a.m. McGrath, when I first started online, I was born in Scranton, Ohio, and uh, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., born in Scranton, Ohio, and uh, ironically, his son's name is Hunter. Hunt her. Hunt, hunt her. To hunt, hunt her. The hunt is on. I do remember doing a video about that. But once again, are we going to trust in the Lord? Are we going to be scared? Are we going to be singing praises? Because, you know, really, the story goes that God's kingdom is being established. And if God's kingdom is being established, look, a lot of people came against Israel, but what happened to them? Huh? Everybody's so scared. What happened to the enemies of Israel? They didn't have to do nothing to get into Jericho. Think about this. Yeah, yeah, just walk around. Yeah, seven times, seven times. Shout, sing praises, blow the trumpet. Blow the, uh, the trumpet. Blow the horn. The walls come down. You inherit the land. Even you're looking at giants. You're looking at giants with all their military and everything else. If they're corrupt, if God didn't place them there to do godly things, the Lord will deal with them. You won't have to. So there's no need for an uprising, right? Like so many of the people on YouTube like to say, oh, you're not doing it up. You're not doing it. What am I supposed to do? Right? What am I supposed to I'll tell you what I did. I saw my neighbor had some siding issues. He just moved into the neighbor. I gave him a ladder. I gave him a ladder. That's what I do. I do nice things for people. You know what I do? I do. My uh, my neighbors across the street, they're Muslim. They moved into the neighborhood. I want them to feel loved. You know what I did? I went to mosque with them. That's right. Some people That's may cool. have a problem with that. I don't because I serve the living God. I serve the one true God. So I can go to this place. I go to temple. I go to mosque. I go a yogi, I can go to this, and I can still share the light of the Lord. And and guess what happens? Guess what happens? Because I showed that love. They're drawn to me, and then the system goes, and then they go right back to the kingdom of God where they came. There's only one Lord, one God, one baptism, one spirit that's in all and through all. And you think that just because things look a little spooky, you think you're going to be in trouble? You think you're not going to make the mortgage? You think you're not going to make rent? You think you're going to lose? Who cares? It's going to be okay. As long as you're getting this right, and you're getting this right. So now for the good news, right? So I, I was concerned a while back, right? When that eclipse happened and all that stuff happened in December. It's the time of Jacob's troubles begun, right? Well, this is the time when Jacob wrestles. This is the time when he wrestles. And at the end, you know when the wrestle stops? You know when the fight stopped? You know when it stopped? When the day was breaking. The dawn. Now this strikes, strikes me as interesting because the night before last, before I'm writing this show, before all the pieces somehow magically come together, I don't know how they come together, they just do. They just lay themselves out for as me and then I come here and I have a little bit of time before I go to work time. so I share it with all of you. Breaking Dawn! It was just on. And I was watching, I was like yeah. watching, I was like, oh, I remember this. The vampires and wolves. It was like a little cheesy. Imagine if this but it was world, Breaking Dawn. Interesting. At the people right? that we see and then in of front course, of us. I stopped that video. They're like in these big giant meat suits, right? Put the tweet out. It's a new dawn. I don't know why I was doing it. Just came out. Just came out. Sometimes things happen. Like At the end of small, um, petite this women. incredibly talented poet Amanda Gorman. Right? I got to say these things because whatever he's saying, she's incredible. She is talented. She, she, I, I wasn't at the inauguration saying my poem, right? But listen, this is beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade, right? You get out of the fear when the light's there, aflame and unafraid. This is a good poem. The new dawn blooms as we free it. I would say the new dawn blooms when the Lord makes it, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just say the new dawn blooms when we when we when we step into it, right? Okay. For there is always light if we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. Now that's a beautiful thing. Does it matter that Oprah gave her a, a caged bird on her hand? I don't know. Does that mean that, you know, the system is going to try to stifle the truth of God? I don't know. I think
think it's been doing that a long time. I think it's been driving people to all the wrong places. And that's why it's interesting that all the wrong places seems to be shutting down. But I think they're going to start opening them up again. We're going to see what happens. This is a very interesting time. It's a time to be encouraged. And it's on track, right? Like I said, I said, as long as this goes a certain way, I'm off the hook. I, I feel like I'm off the hook. So I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm moving in the right direction, I'm saying the right things. I'm hoping that I continue to do so. But I don't know because I'm not, I'm not coming on here saying the Lord told me this or that. I'm sharing like dreams. Remember, they're dreams. They're just dreams, which I believe God does speak to us in dreams. But what I do understand. I know? So I come on here and I share things. And many times it turns out mean that it happens. Like we in such detail and clarity. The communication which makes dreams. it very, very cool. But the best part is this is the day that you do the same thing. How many of your dreams do I hear? How many of you are turning to the Lord? How many of you are letting go of fear? Because God doesn't give us the spirit of fear. He gives us peace, power, and sound mind. Think on these things, my friends. Whatever is good, whatever is true, whatever is pure, whatever is righteous, whatever is kind, whatever is patient, whatever is compassionate, whatever is enduring, whatever is generous, whatever is charitable. I'm adding a bunch of stuff. It's in the scriptures. Think on these things. Don't think about, you know, whether or not somebody put their hand on I get it, you know, the system's meant to keep us all scared, but I hope that the truth sets you free, so you ask for the truth no matter what the cost, and if you want, by the way, get Noah's shirt, it's in the, in the link before if you want to, below, if you want to um, support the channel, thank you for those of you that support me on Patreon, thank you for those of you that share the videos, and that leave a comment, and that understand that this well, is I'm important. I'm sharing your video, Jacob, here. on my channel. Because, could you imagine what the world would be if more people, you know, took this incredible wisdom that was given to us by Christ, this incredible wisdom that is um, shared freely with all of you, right? He's got to watch a couple of commercial breaks here and there, you know. And thank you for, for wa watching through them. And now that I've gotten, I hope that they're better because I used to they're not know what perfect. I was doing and they used to load me up with like a million yeah, and it used to bother people. And once again, what does fear say? Way. Fear told me, oh, they're, they're, uh, they're stifling you and they're trying to knock people away. They were just trying to make a lot of money because greed is what makes this uh, beast system rule, <laughs> right? So let's stop with the greed and let's start with the love and uh, have the best day ever. I love each and every one of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, Jay. From that angle.